it's a simple model very simple model and uh, it's a manual mo manual so we have to rotate it by our hands so this contains one centrifuge body this is rotors and this one is a uh, uh, centrifuge tubes so we have to place this inside the centrifuge tubes like this so these are the simple mixture which i have prepared um like you can see some honey honey plus propanol soil plus water curd plus water and then this is lime solution and turmeric solution so i'll place these uh, plastic test tubes into the centrifuge tubes like this and i'll take the ha handle i'll and then i'll keep this handle here i'll place this handle here and i have to hold the centrifuge body with this so that it will support i mean it will not come off while rotating no it will come off there are chances that it will come off so that's why i have to hold it like this and then i'll start the rotation rotating is yes. so you have to rotate it for certain period of time until the mixtures get separated so you can see pellet supernatant some layers also you can see and this is a very simple model so you can uh, for no, uh, you can um, separate the simple mixtures also uh, there are other machines also uh, centrifuge machines they are very i mean they are used to separate the complex ones it's like the blood uh, so in blood they need um, the blood to separate the blood we need 15000 rpm but here we can't we can't because it's yeah it's a maximum is 500 uh, rpm only so <clears throat> yeah so this is very simple one and you can uh, separate the simple one and uh, the separation no so while rotating now we are applying some centrifugal force here so the separation is happening due to the centrifugal forces so while rotating you can see these uh, <clears throat> test tubes are rotating like this so there is some gravity happening there so while rotating the particles which are higher in weight they will deposit at the bottom so that is called as pellet pellet and here the these are the lighter particles which are separated so this this is called as supernatant supernatant so that's how the mixture gets separated into this there may, there will be many layers if you use many mixtures like that this is the these are the two mixtures yeah so that's all thank, thank you